The Bluegrass Rendezvous is an event that's occurred for the last three years. It's actually an event that has that takes place. Uh, the riders start at Fort Knox, uh, the WTU there, in conjunction with uh, our WTV soldiers and uh, support staff. And uh, and again, obviously, there's the volunteers, and they'll ride the uh, 101 yard, excuse me, miles the first day. I was represented obviously the 101st, and then the last 66 or so on the second day, which is what we did today. After two days of an arduous journey, coming all the way from Fort Knox to Fort Campbell, these soldiers have about 17 miles to go, and now they're stopping for one final break before they make that last leg. <laughs> Tell me, you know, you've made it this far, a two days journey. You know, the end is near. Can you can you tell me a little bit about what this experience has been? Uh, well, it's, it's been amazing, honestly. It's, it's been really amazing. The, the best part of it is, is the the camaraderie we have in each other with the guys. I mean, everybody's supportive. Everybody's been helping me along the way a lot. The pushers have been great. The other soldiers, everybody support me big time trying to keep me going. Because being in the front where I'm at, I I'm, I'm have to set the pace for everybody. So it's actually been a, more of a challenge for me in that aspect because I have no headwind, I've got no help in that aspect. So everybody's really just been been picking me up and boosting me. As far as the healing process, it's great. It, it lets you kind of feel like you're back in the fight in a way because it feels, for me, like it's something I can physically challenge me because not being able to do anything for almost a year and then to say, hey, you get to do this, it's, it's amazing. Tell me a little bit about your bike. It's not like the other ones that we've seen. No, um, I have a hand cycle actually and, and the bike's set up where they use the crank they take a regular bike crank and basically flip it upside down mm -hmm. so that way I can adjust my gears. My gears are set up on my hands and it's all shoulder hand cranking. So that way I can still ride because of my knee injuries, they said no riding a bike. Well, the only way I can I can participate in something like this is use different muscles. Right, so, so exactly, so you're using just different muscles. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do something like this? No, I would not. I would not. I still need two more knee surgeries, so I wouldn't be able to, to do anything like what they're doing right now. And again, we have wounded soldiers, injured soldiers, ill soldiers, you know, they're in some transition, you know, whether it be back into the regular army, or many of them, most of them will actually transition out of the service. So, you know, this could be their last big event, you know, in uniform. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, after they get injured, they, they find something, a lot of them find cycling, and, and uh, cycling is a great way for them to improve their fitness, uh, work on their resiliency uh, and kind of get at a whole bunch of the aspects of their life and their and their healing uh, process and it, it really helps them and they find that no matter what their injury is we can find a way to adapt them to a bike and so that's what it's all about is is getting them out there and keeping them engaged so that they can continue to uh, improve and heal their injury but also improve their selves overall. And some of them find out that cycling becomes a lifelong passion for them. In the beginning, uh, you know, I, I wasn't expecting to come at uh, WTV. I didn't even know that it existed. And once I got hurt overseas and they brought me here, uh, just like every other soldier, I was angry, I was depressed. Um, I didn't know where my life was gonna head to. And with the help I'm getting through the WTV program, the behavioral health issues, I've had few surgeries, um, they've helped me along and being able to hang out with other soldiers and do this, it just, it just makes life worth living, you know. Um, it, it beats hiding in your room and getting depressed. Today what I saw, you, you know, was, was a team effort and the support that was provided and afforded, you know, from the, even including the counties, you know, here, the, the police escorts and things, it was all worked together, all came together uh, to allow the soldiers and the support element that was that was involved in the in the ride to be successful. A beautiful day, uh, and a lot of happy, smiling faces to cross that finish line just a few minutes ago.